Everybody can see. They can see. When I first met you, you were only down there. Look at you now. You look more like your dad every day. Oh my goodness. And he's getting taller. The first time I met Maddox was actually uh, one of the uh, Royal Jubilees. And um, I met this very nice, very friendly chap in uh, New Street. Uh, who was outside having pims and cakes and yes. everything, and uh, he said, would you do me a favour? I said, yes, certainly. He said, would you go and see my son? He doesn't live here, he lives off on uh, um, the end of uh, Hampton Road there somewhere. So I said, yeah, sure. So I was deputy mayor at the time, and uh, we went out and I knocked on the door, and Maddox's mum came out and looked at me as a, as a strange man knocking on our door for <laughs> So I said, it's Maddox, he said, uh, yes. So he came out and I told Maddox that his dad had asked me to go up and see him. And then we had pictures with him with my gongle on. And uh, I said, you'll grow into that. I didn't think it would be this quick. But <laughs> there we are. Um, but that isn't the reason that Maddox is giving this. Maddox has a sister who's here with us today. Is absolutely gorgeous. Asleep. <laughs> and asleep. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to read what it says on here because this is presented to Maddox Gates for exhi exhibiting understanding, compassion, and maturity beyond his years in the face of his younger sister's neurological conditions. He has shown an immense amount of selfless care and kindness for his sibling and has taken being a big brother in his stride. And I really think that is so worth recognising. Well done, Maddox. Well done. Well done.